Hello, I'm Laura Jackson and this is how I live with style. When we bought the house, I didn't really notice the wallpaper. It's kind of quite stained because um, the family that used to live here used to smoke. So um, it looks a little bit old and tired in certain places, but I just think that gives it its charm. We have lots of photography in the house, mainly because my husband's a photographer. This is something that he took um, when he was in Sicily on a job. And I can remember him showing me through his like gorgeous pictures of of whatever he was doing. I was like, no, we have to get this printed. I absolutely love this Sicilian roundabout. Um, and actually when anyone comes in the house, they're always like, wow, who's that by? And I'm like, my husband. I'm literally obsessed with this vase. I think it's so beautiful. It's a glass three color Moroccan vase from a brand called Arbala. And I found Arbala because I've just launched a homeware platform called Glassette and they are stocking on the site. I've always said like the a house is the, the film set of your life and I just really love that. I do feel like if these walls could talk, they'd tell you that we've fallen out a lot of times over deciding whether to change this wallpaper or what we should recover our chairs in. But I love the journey. Okay, let's go to the kitchen. Come this way. I love it in here. It's really light and really airy. When we were designing the house, we really wanted to have a space that felt good for entertaining. Um, and then we've got some more gorgeous pictures here. Um, if you come and have a look, they're from a photographer called Peter Mitchell. This kind of makes me laugh because in the living room, I'm like, oh, so nice. I'm thinking of Sicily. And here I'm like, oh, lovely. Back to Leeds. The old linen drawer. Um, I love it. It's got like all of um, my napkins and my tablecloths and my runners. Whenever I go on holiday, I will always find the flea market, the vintage shop. And um, we kind of went shopping one day in Sri Lanka and everyone was like, there's no shops here where you can buy your little trinkets. And I was like, I will find one. I will hunt one down. And I did, I found this really lovely shop and they sold really nice linen. So I bought some nice napkins and I love having them on the table because it just really reminds me of that holiday. Oh, this one is for my friend Matilda. It's just so sweet. It's like a little cocktail napkin. These were actually from my wedding that I had made. They're like a nice pink with um, an orange trim. Very lovely. I'm not very tidy. Who irons linen? Who's got time to iron linen? It's fine. I'm just gonna just shove it in here. So the plants are a labor of love because my husband loves the plants. I mean, come look at this one, this cheese plant. So um, a family had it and it was on eBay for 50 quid, right? And um, they were like, it's got too big for the house and so we want to sell it. And they were really sad to see it go. John said they kind of came out and waved, waved the plant off at the door, which I think is quite lovely. So it kind of feels like we've rescued it, which is really nice. Come through to the pantry. I absolutely love this little room. Oh, that's Barry, the dog. When I don't know what to cook, I kind of stand in here and I look at everything that I've got on the shelves and I don't know, I always find it really inspiring. So if I go on holiday, I'll always get like an olive oil. These kind of cinnamon that I got from a trip to Sri Lanka. I've got so many cookbooks. Some of my favorite cookbooks. One is this one, which is the Zuni Kitchen Cookbook. It's a restaurant in San Francisco and they do this incredible chicken salad recipe. It's legendary and it's really tasty. And then someone sent me a present the other day. This is such a nice idea. It's called Lazy Baking, it's a brand new book. And they folded down all of the pages with a little note that they think that I'll like. So this is great for weekend brunch. Should you go upstairs? This is the master bedroom where the magic doesn't happen, but let me show you the kids' room next door. I love this room. So this is the kids' bedroom, which I absolutely love. And this is the mural that's on the wall here, painted by a lovely friend, Tess Newell. With flowers and trees, it feels really botanical. 
and the attention to detail is just amazing. Like I love all the kind of the petals here on the hollyhock. It feels like a real oasis in here. We went to Ardenley Flea Market with my mum and my mum was like, oh my God, I really, really want to buy this for Sydney. And um, we kind of thought, oh, we'll, we'll have a little think about it. And then we were like, oh my gosh, we absolutely have to get it. So we ran back to this store. It's just such a lovely little rocking horse and she sits on it and she kind of brushes its ponytail at the back here. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. Um, Miserable as sin, but a great listener. This window, we stripped back ourselves with a heat gun and it took hours and hours and days and weeks. Um, it was a real labor of love, not for me, for my husband. So this was actually two rooms that we knocked through into one large bathroom um, and all of the walls felt quite angular, so we wanted to offset that with a really nice round shower, which is over here, which was inspired by a lovely kind of Moroccan bathroom. And then this bath actually is the world's heaviest bath. It was so big and so heavy that we actually couldn't get it up the stairs, so we had to crane it through the bedroom window. It was the most stressful thing ever, so it can't be moved. The floor had to be reinforced. This lovely cabinet didn't come with these kind of curtains, so we put them on the inside to hide the mess on the inside. Um, it's full of linen. We bought it from Belgium when we went on a sourcing trip. It was really inexpensive. I think it was like a couple of hundred quid. Um, and it's such a beautiful piece. I'm worried that if we ever leave the house, how we're gonna get it out of here. And this is a fireplace that we uncovered once we knocked these two rooms together, it was such a lovely surprise and it actually works. Is there anything more romantic than having a fire and a bath? I don't think so. So you've seen the house and now this is the final piece of the puzzle, the basement, which is my glasset office. Now this space was kind of built when we decorated the house and it's quite industrial which feels a bit different to what's going on upstairs. So we decided to put this really nice round table in here um, by Fred Rigby with these beautiful vintage chairs from Old Old Woods which is a seller that I found on Instagram. Um, well, I think you've had the grand tour. I need to do some work. You need to leave. I will see you later. But also, don't forget to subscribe to the Sunny Time Style YouTube channel. Go on, off you go.